Individuality, the trademark of any artist, designer, or architect. Each desires a uniqueness to their creation, a quality that separates it from any other. Man naturally has this individuality, his fingerprint. There are 7.7 .7 billion people on the face of the earth, and no two fingerprints are the same. Everything we touch or make contact with is branded with a small expressed image revealing to all who see it who was there. Around 1200 AD, a man named Leonardo Pisano, better known as Fibonacci, who was a famous mathematician from the Republic of Pisa, considered to be the most talented mathematician of the Middle Ages, Bassano discovered a sequence of numbers that created a very interesting pattern. The sequence begins with the numbers 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and continues indefinitely. Each number is obtained by adding the last two digits together. A rectangle with the length and width of any two of the numbers of this sequence forms what is known as the golden rectangle. A perfect rectangle. A golden rectangle can be broken down into squares the size of the next Fibonacci numbers down and below. If we were to take a perfect or a golden rectangle, break it down into smaller squares based on Fibonacci's sequence, and divide each with an arc, the patterns begin to take shape. We begin to see Fibonacci's spiral. The spiral in and of itself is insignificant. Its importance is revealed in where we find it. Take for example the sunflower. The display of its florence are in perfect spirals of 55, 34, and 21, the sequence of Fibonacci. The fruitlets of the pineapple create the same spiral based on the sequence. The pine cone does the same. As currents move through the ocean and the tide rolls on to the shore, the waves that bring in the tide curve into a spiral that can be mathematically diagrammed onto a plot at the points 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and 55. Buds on trees, sand dollars, starfish, petals on flowers, and especially the nautilus shell are formed with this exact same blueprint. With each segment of growth, the nautilus adds to itself one more value on Fibonacci scale. This blueprint can be seen around us on a small scale every day. But the greatest example of all is directly above our heads. Even the spiral of the celestial bodies above us are formed with the exact design that the tiny shell is formed. This sequence or blueprint appears to be the trademark of a designer, a proof of a creator something left behind, indicating the one who was there, a fingerprint. As we scan our universe, from the tiny flower to the celestial bodies above, we see the fingerprint of God. Now this uh, mathematical sequence was discovered in 1100 AD, and it's been hidden from us. They do not teach you this in public school. Now I'm going to switch the camera around and show you how this works really, really quick. Okay, we start the sequence out with a simple rectangle and then we make smaller rectangles within that rectangle. Okay, now here's the sequence. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8. And the sequence can just continue on indefinitely. There's no end to it. Uh, we can just keep adding to it and it just keeps growing larger and larger. 8 and 13 is 21. And you start your spiral going from the first number outward. And that is the Fibonacci sequence. And this simple little mathematical sequence proves that there's a creator. And there's a reason. There's a reason why the government would not allow this. Well, actually not allow it. They won't fund this sequence to be taught in public schools even though it was discovered almost a thousand years ago there's a reason why they will not fund this mathematical sequence to be taught in school for one it proves there's only one creator 
one fingerprint who created everything because everything, every design created lines up with this sequence. And if they taught that in school, it would wake a lot of people up and they'd be like, well, wait a minute. Everything on earth has this same mathematical design all the way down to our own DNA. You see what I'm saying? It would kill evolution theory and it would kill the Big Bang Theory. That's why this is not allowed to be taught in the public schools. It's time to wake up, people. Thanks for watching and God bless.